Hey there, everybody. All right, we are live. It is day three of Survive to Thrive Live. Today, I'm so excited. I'm gonna demo and coach you through a full body strength training workout. We are going to do a variety of different exercises. I want you to know that I'm gonna give you modifications or substitutions for each exercise in the workout. So there are going to be options, okay? So if you are concerned at all, maybe that you are very late pregnancy or you're quite early postpartum, you have pelvic organ prolapse, you're still in the process of healing your diastasis recti, maybe you're just not uh, someone who strengths trains regularly, that's not part of your movement practice, totally fine, really truly, we can modify so easily in strength training workouts, that is why I love it so much, especially coaching it for lots of different bodies, because we can modify so easily to find a movement that typically does work for you well, pain-free and symptom-free. So that's what we are going to do today. If you have any questions as we go through, please do post them in the comments and I'll be able to see. Um, just me who's going to be working the camera, so I might have to tilt you up and down as we go through just because some exercises are going to be on the floor, some are going to be standing. We will do our best though, okay? So say hello if you are on live. I can see some names popping up. Let me know if you can see me and hear me okay. Let me give you a few more details on the workout itself. So I'm going to be using dumbbells resistance bands. I'm also going to demo, you can see back there my squat rack, I'm going to be doing uh, pull-ups. And there is an option that you do not need a chin-up bar for. So again, resistance bands and dumbbells are going to be the basics. That is what we tend to do for all workouts that I coach through in my Two Pregnancy and Beyond program. Dumbbells, bands, we can make it work with that amount of equipment. So don't stress about that at all either. So first circuit is going to be a tricep, meaning there are three different exercises. Hey, Jennifer. So three different exercises. If you got the Survive to Thrive guidebook that I sent out via email earlier in the week, maybe you've looked through the workout already and you've seen that there are different exercise options in each little chunk or category of exercises. Hey, Jessie Ann. So, the first circuit, again, is three different exercises, but there are options for each of those three exercises that you can choose. So again, maybe you are later pregnancy, maybe you are earlier postpartum, you might choose the option one in that exercise category. So our first three exercises are going to be a glute bridge variation, a chest press variation, and a squat variation. So glute bridge variation, there are three. You're gonna do body weight, or with a mini band or with a dumbbell. For the chest press variation, we're gonna do a one arm floor press. So we just do a chest press exercise. Again, I'll show you everything from the floor or we go to an incline bench. Maybe you don't have an incline bench, just do it from the floor. If you do have a bench option that goes to that incline position, and again, you are later pregnancy, that might feel more comfortable for you than going flat on the floor. Third exercise in that circuit is our squat variation, a body weight squat or an offset squat with one dumbbell. So I'm gonna tilt you down just a little bit so you can see when I go down to the floor to demo the glute bridge and then the chest presses as well, all right? Again, questions, let me know. I'm gonna put my notes down here so I do not forget what we are doing. I'm just gonna tilt you down, move you over. I think we should be good there. All right, here we go. So exercise number one is our glute bridge variation. I'm gonna show you the body weight version, then with the band, then with the dumbbell, you are going to pick and choose what variation you do. I should say, I'm not gonna demo out all the reps and all the sets because that might get a little bit boring for us if you're here for the next 30 minutes. So I just wanna get this quick demo so you can see exactly what you're supposed to do and then you can go to it yourself. So body weight, glute bridge. We set up lying down, feet flat on the floor or heels driving down into the floor, knees are bent. So you're gonna feel that position of your rib cage set down, not flaring up. And we are going to start our exhale breath, squeeze the bum, lift the hips. So we are in a straight line with the body. 
I'm not into this flared position and I'm not tucking my bum under hard, okay? So we get to the top, we inhale to come back down to the bottom. Again, we keep the ribs and the hips in line. We exhale, squeeze the bum, lift. We feel lots of tension through the glutes and through the hamstrings as well, behind the legs, and we come back down. So this is our glute bridge variation, body weight. If you want to use a mini band, this is going to make it more challenging on your glutes. So when I'm doing glute bridges, I basically always use a mini band. I really like this option. Lifting up, coming down. Lifting up, coming down. So you're going to feel like your glutes have to work harder to get you up in that position. Third variation, and reminder again, you're choosing one of these. You don't have to do the reps for every single variation. Choose one that is appropriate for your body right now. So dumbbell glute bridge, heavy dumbbell, this is 40 pounds. I'm going to lie on my side, grab the dumbbell, roll to my back, put the dumbbell on the hips, and then glute bridge from there. So we're here, here. So you almost put it in the crease of your hips on your hip flexor, so this is not uncomfortable. Even though it might look like it is, it's really not. Hold the dumbbell in position, lift up, come back down. So again, because we're adding this 40 pound weight, this is going to be the most challenging variation that we do. But maybe this doesn't feel comfortable or right for your body right now, so you choose one of the other options. So that's our glute bridge. I'll throw that out of the way. Okay, so then the next exercise in our strength training workout is going to be chest press. So I'm going to show you a one arm floor press. You're just going to go flat from the floor, dumbbell, one arm at a time. So you only need one. So for this one, I'm going to start on my side again. Hand goes underneath the dumbbell and then over top. So we hold Get it in position. You can help the dumbbell up with your other hand. And then you're gonna lower the dumbbell. You touch to the floor, but you're not resting here. You're still keeping tension through the whole upper body. So you're gonna think about pulling the weight down and pushing the weight up. Pull down, push up. And then for me, I like to just, when I'm done the reps on that side, I'm going to take the dumbbell to my knee, switch hands, don't let go until it's back up over the head, so you're really steady and secure, hopefully I have enough room here, and then take it down and up on the other side, and you'll complete your reps on that side, okay? So let me show you the option with the incline bench, because that might not be comfortable for you. Again, if you are later pregnancy or early postpartum, it might feel more comfortable to use the incline bench. So you can get into position, whether that's rolling from the side, or maybe you just sit up and come down, and then you're gonna press through. You can't really see the top of the dumbbell, but it looks exactly the same as it did on the floor. Inhale to pull down, exhale to pull up, switch, and then Complete the reps that were prescribed on the other side. Okay, so let's move you back up. How are we doing? All making sense so far? Okay, so that was second of three exercise in the first circuit. Next, can you see me? I'm going to tilt you down just a little bit because I'm not making you dizzy here as we go through. So this is a squat variation that we're doing for the third exercise. Okay, so body weight squat is our first option. Offset squat with one dumbbell is our second option. Here's how I set up for my squat. Pretty wide stance, feet turned out. Hopefully I don't hit that. And then I think about inhaling to go down, exhaling to stand up. And if I'm just doing a body weight squat, I take my arms out in front. Because I have a pretty forward hinged squat, that helps me counterbalance. You might feel comfortable just keeping your arms right in by the chest. So that's option one. Option two, we're going to use a dumbbell. We're going to do an offset squat. So I'm going to pop 
this dumbbell up. I'm going to get back into my squat stance. I'm going to take this arm out in front as I squat down to help balance me, but I'm going to have this load stay over top of the shoulder the whole time. I'm going to make sure this weight stays parallel to the floor, not dropping it down because I want to keep it up so it doesn't throw me off. All right, so inhale, exhale. So we complete the reps on that side, and then we switch it over to the side. So I like to rest this dumbbell right up on my shoulder. Okay, so that's our first full circuit. So we have the glute bridge option, pick one. We have the chest press option, pick one. And then we have the squat option, pick one. And you're gonna do the reps for those exercises for all those sets that are listed out for you. We'll find a way to get this whole workout posted up in case you miss the guidebook. Because I feel like we're probably gonna get asked that question. So we'll get it for you for sure. Okay, let's set up for circuit number two. I'm just gonna move some things out of the way. meaning that we have two different exercises that we're going to complete back to back. First option is going to be a pull, a vertical pull, meaning we have a lat pull down, which I'm gonna use that super band right there that's hanging down from my squat rack. I'm gonna use that for the lat pull down. I'm gonna do it seated all the way down on the floor on that yoga mat. This I find is the easiest setup often if you are at home. If you are at a gym and they have a lat pull down machine, you can absolutely use that. Our other two options in the vertical pull, so other than the lat pull down, we also have an assisted pull up or unassisted. So you're doing pull ups just using your body weight. Maybe you're at the point where you're even loading your pull ups now with weight. So these are three options, okay? Second exercise in this circuit is a reverse lunge. Three options in this one, using your body weight, using dumbbells or using barbell. I'm not gonna show you the barbell version today because this skateboarding wrist injury is still not able to get in that position. Hopefully I can even do chin-ups. Maybe should have tested that before. We'll see how it goes. But let me show you these options first. So seated lat pull down. You know what, I might even move us closer. So it's not so far away. All right, let's do our pull downs first. So this is a super band. This is the resistance band that I love so much for my home gym setup. Sorry, I just feel like that's glaring bright right there. Um, so I find this to be one of the best options if you are working out from home, okay? So I'm gonna grab this band. I'm gonna sit all the way down onto the floor and then I'm gonna Pull the band down, elbows down into the sides of my body. On my exhale, breath. So I can feel myself sitting on my sit bones as I do this. So that's our level one option. Level two option, we're gonna take this into an assisted pull up. So I'm gonna use that same band. I'm gonna put my knee through it, reach up overhead, grab the bar, and try to do, we'll see how it goes, pull-ups. So, knee in. I'm going to take a neutral grip, hang down fully. And I would complete my reps like so. So that's our level two option. Assisted pull-ups using the band. Level three option, no help from the band, just body weight. Just body weight pull-ups from there, okay? So those are our three options for our pull. Second exercise in the circuit is our reverse lunge. I'm gonna move, I think we should be okay right there. 
Just want to make sure you can see. Okay, so body weight reverse lunge. So in this exercise, we're going to be working the back side of the body, back side of the legs. You're going to think about keeping a slight forward lean as you step backwards. So here we go. I'm going to do hands on the hips so you can see my body a little bit more easily. And you're going to pull yourself up tall to the standing position. So you take that step back, lower fully, pull to stand. Let's do other side so you can see. So making sure that you feel the glutes and the hamstrings working to pull yourself back up to standing position. Level two option. We're gonna add dumbbells to the mix on this one. So this is going to be harder because we're adding that load and then the movement stays exactly the same. You're just going to feel like you need to work harder to control the movement down and pull strong to stand your body up. So third variation for that reverse lunge is going to be in a front or back rack barbell position. So even more challenging, but dumbbells often are enough, especially because you can continue to load it heavier. Okay. I'm out of breath. We just have one more exercise to go. Very last exercise in this workout. So only one exercise. You're gonna do the sets of these back to back to back. Basically, it's a glute burner. So you're just gonna end the workout with your glutes burning, and then you're done, which is probably my favorite way to put finishers into workouts, because then you can just feel this really strong, stable position of your hips, lower back. So perfect for pregnancy and postpartum. So two exercise options. I'm just going to pull, um, do we need the bench first? Yeah, I'm gonna pull the bench in for this one. So we need our mini band again. So these mini resistance bands are just this loop of material. You can also use a longer resistance band. You'll just need to tie it up into this position. Um, and you're gonna put this just above the knees. So let's show you this seated position. So for this one, this is seated hip abductions. So you are going to be in a slightly hinged forward position. So not sitting straight up. Go back to that reverse lunge position where you're slightly forward as you step back. That's similar to what you're going to be doing, just even a little bit more, really leaning into it. So feet, you can't really see them too well right now, but your feet are almost gonna roll onto the sides, onto the edges, and then you're going to move the knees out to the sides. Okay, so we have this resistance band creating the need for our glutes to work harder. I just wanna bring you down so you can see a bit more of my feet here. Okay, that's better. So the feet are going to roll onto the edges. You're gonna keep this forward leaning position, squeezing through the outside of the hips and the glutes. So those definitely will start to burn. You can also double up with mini bands if all you have are really light ones and you need more resistance on this one. I'm gonna move the bench just to give you the last option. Okay, so this is one of my favorite exercises. Move you back. All right, so this is lateral band walks. So, let's go down just a little bit. Okay, last time, moving you all around. Lateral band walks back to our mini band. This time, mini band is going to go around the shins. You are going to step directly out to the side. I'm gonna just stay in one spot so it's a little bit less distracting than moving across the whole room. Slight bend in the knees. You're not standing straight up. So you're in that slightly flexed hip and knee position. You're gonna push from your left leg, step to the right, feet together. Push from the right leg, 
Step to the left, feet together. So you can just go side to side, especially if you're low on space, or you can continue to move further out to the sides. What I want you to watch for is you're not doing this motion with your body. So this is not a side flexion exercise. This is purely power and pushing from the hips and the glutes. Okay, that is our very last exercise. So just know with that last exercise, you just pick one of those two and you complete all your reps and sets back to back. Rest when you need to, get back in when you need to, glutes are going to be burning up, and then you're done, that's it. Are there any questions right now while we're here on any of those exercises or any of the variations or what you should be doing if you have diastasis, prolapse, that sort of thing? Oh, I need some water. Got this crazy hair happening. Are we good? Okay. We will absolutely find a way to get this workout posted up under this video so you can see it. If you got the Survive to Thrive guidebook on Monday, it is there for you. So it is fully laid out with the reps and sets, coaching cues, the rest periods, all that stuff. And now you can just come back to this video to see how everything is done um, in case you're confused on what those exercises are. Hey Harper, excellent. Nice, so you have diastasis. No problem at all, absolutely can be appropriate to do these uh, exercises, this whole workout with diastasis. Just need to ensure we're turning, tuning into the sensations of the body, the alignment, the breathing, which we can touch on another time, which we have talked about a lot before in the past. There's some great blogs on jessiemundell.com, which will also address that specifically. But not to fear strength training and diastasis, um, that really is the treatment that we use to help heal lots of bodies. Anything else? We are good for today. So tomorrow in day four of Survive to Thrive Live, we're going to be talking about minimizing, how that relates to a whole bunch of different topics in our life, minimizing clutter, expectations, um, really just helping your life feel a bit more easy, calm, peaceful. So that's tomorrow in day four of Survive to Thrive Live and give this workout a go. So my task to you was to complete this workout by the end of the weekend. So do so, come back, comment once you are done the workout. Let me know how it went and if you have any questions. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place.